hairdresser Katie Sweeney here. Today we're going to be drawing a donut cake. And I've drawn a lot of donuts throughout the years and lots of cakes but never put them together. So today is very special and I really hope you loved how this uh, donut cake turns out and that it inspires you to draw it too. So get your sharpie or your pencil ready and your piece of paper and let's get started. To draw this super yummy cake, let's first start by drawing a really big circle for the donut. So I am just going to try my best to uh, freehand this circle because I think it's like a donut, right? So it doesn't need to be perfectly round. I think it just looks a little bit better if it's not. But if you're not comfortable drawing a big circle, definitely find something at home that you can use as a stencil. So I'm just going to go for it and draw this big circle. And connect. Ta-da! <laughs> there. Okay, so then let's come inside and we're going to draw another circle. And I'm not going to make it too big because I want to be able to put some eyes on this donut. So say about right here. Go ahead and draw another circle. And inside one is much easier, right? Because it's smaller. Okay, so then from there, um, let's draw everything before we put in the details. So now that we have our huge donut in, let's go ahead and draw the top of our cake. So we need to draw an oval underneath this. So I'll come about right here and give myself a point. I'm going to come right across about right here. And using those two points, I'm going to draw a curve. So let's bring this. So just imagine you're drawing an oval. So this side, we're going to bring it down and bring it in. Then same thing over here. Let's try my best to mimic that curve. Make sure you're looking at my camera. <laughs> and in. And then we'll go ahead and connect at the bottom of a big curve and up there. It's always much harder when you're drawing big, right? So we have this oval in for the top of our cake. From there, um, let's come down right here nice and straight. Bring a line down for the side of our cake. And I'll say about that much and same thing here all the way down to about the right there. This is we're about the same level. Then from there I'm going to round it off. Round it off and then connect at the bottom and kind of following this curve a little bit deeper. So we'll go ahead and just draw a curve. This is the center. Now I'm going to go right back up and connect there. So now it looks like a roll of toilet paper, right? <laughs> Two rolls of toilet paper. Okay, so then now uh, that we're done with the cake, we have to draw a plate under the cake. So here we go again. We're going to come about right here and I'm going to come right across. Good practice to draw uh, curves and ovals. So once again, same thing, curve in. And curve in and connect. Yes, and it's very tricky, but it's all worth it because we're drawing a yummy donut cake, right? So there. And then um, let's thicken this plate. <laughs> One more. Same thing here. And this part's easy. We're just going to follow whatever curve we made at the top. Finally. And up. There. Now the hardest part is done. Now we can come in and make this look really cute and delicious. So let's start with our donut first. And I'm going to come to the butt right here. And I'm just going to drizzle all the way across. And down. So really hope this inspires you to draw your own donut cake however you want it. And one more. Just 
to finish it off there. And then let's put some eyes. So right here in this area, we're going to put a circle. Come right across right here and draw another circle for some draw so cute eyes. So come in here with two small circles for highlights and a curve line at the bottom. So I still have room since I'm drawing pretty big, but if your eyes are too small, just put one highlight at the top and shade it all in. And lines at the bottom and same thing over here. Okay, so then now that we have that, I'm going to come above each eye and just draw a soft curve and then a big happy smile, of course. So right in the center, slightly go upwards, tap it off, and then I'll add a big curve at the bottom, put in a little tongue and shade it in. From there, let's go ahead and work on the cake part right here. So I'm going to put some donut holes to decorate the top of our cake. So I'm going to come right here and draw a circle, Put pop one right in there, maybe a smaller one right here, just so I can fill in the space and one more right here. And I'm not overlapping anything, so I don't have to um, uh, erase anything. So let's decorate our um, donut holes. So maybe this one also has some drizzle right here at the top and two little eyes and, and a smile. And let's see here. This one, uh, well, let's work on this one. I could put a little bow right here and then a smile. Of course, we can make it happy smile right here and here. <laughs> however you want to decorate it. And one more here, maybe a little swirl right here at the top. And once again, two little eyes and a smile. And so then in terms of decorating more stuff, you can put whatever you want right here. And I'm not going to use my Sharpie because I don't want to muddle it up. And you can add some sprinkles here as well when you're coloring. And for the bottom of the cake, we're just going to do the same thing, draw the same thing we did with the donut. Let's go up and down with our drizzle. And one more right in here. And in. Now that we have the drizzle on the cake, um, we can add some things here if you like. Um, can do this when you're coloring it so it's not so harsh but I'll add some these decorations going different ways maybe a star whatever you can think of just to decorate our cake some more hearts here and circles but I'll leave this as um, you don't want to muddle too much with my Sharpie, but like in terms of here, you can just add sprinkles when you're coloring and here as well uh, so that it doesn't have a, sh a harsh black line around it. So they're all done. I really hope you loved how this donut cake turned out and that I made it fun and easy for you to follow along and that I've inspired you maybe to go get some donuts and some cake. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching cuties and please make sure to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you won't miss any new Draw So Cute videos. See you later.